This is what they get. Yeah. Is you. Uh. <laughs> it's amazing. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most charming meetups between stars and their celebrity idols and infatuations. Drake. Oh my God, that was yours. <gasps> that happened. Number 10, Adele meets Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Adele has been a force to reckon with since the release of her debut album at the age of 19. Nonetheless, we'd guess that her 2023 Grammy win for Best Pop Solo Performance was one of her favorite honors to receive. Oh, thank you. I really, um, I really was just looking forward to coming tonight. I After all, it was presented to her by one of her favorite celebrities, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Adele mentioned that the former wrestler was the one star she'd like to meet while talking with makeup vlogger Nikki Tutorials. Someone I've never met that I think I would actually cry. Who is The Rock? But I know he goes Stop. by Dwayne Johnson Stop. now. No, wait, wait, wait. I was the okay. biggest wrestling fan wait, when I was younger. This, this led to Grammy host Trevor Noah facilitating a meeting between the pair just two years later. That Johnson was the one to present Adele with her win just made the experience that much sweeter. Time to choose what I chose to do. Number 9. Jennifer Lawrence meets Damian Lewis. J Law did what any reasonable fan would do when presented with their on screen crush. She freaked out. Hey, somebody's got a crush on somebody. No, somebody has watched the two episodes or two seasons of Homeland twice. And I'm freaking out a little bit. You've never After briefly turning away from the Homeland star, the actress ultimately gave Damian Lewis a hug and praised his work on the show. Unfortunately, the meeting quickly turned sour when Lewis accidentally spoiled Homeland's third season in his interview with a red carpet journalist. Are you upset that he died? Okay. You know they killed him off. They killed him off. What? They yes. killed him off. They killed him off on the show. Just one year prior, Lawrence had a similarly awe-inspiring run-in with Jack Nicholson, in which the actor interrupted her post-Oscar interview and the pair showered each other with compliments. Ever consistent, Lawrence has also been filmed fawning over the likes of Matt Damon and Jeff Bridges. Hi. Hey there. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good to see you. <laughs> sorry, good to see you. I'm so sorry for interrupting you. We think it's safe to say, in spite of her stardom, she She's still the ultimate movie fangirl. Number 8. Bryce Dallas Howard meets Jake Johnson. Technically, this wasn't Bryce Dallas Howard's first time seeing Jake Johnson in the flesh. Oh no. He's here. Yeah, um, no, he's right there, yeah. So but from the way she's acting, it might as well be. The two actors co starred together in Jurassic World, a fact which Howard's husband was allegedly wary of given her huge crush on Johnson. I just can't acknowledge your presence, Jake. I'm okay. sorry. Jake? I feel like I'm at home. While both stars were being interviewed on The Late Late Show, James Corden urged her to elaborate on the situation, leading to her very forward confession. Jake Johnson isn't just on. On her list. Jake is. Uh, uh, Jake, Jake's my Hollywood crush. Right. But th before the movie, this existed. Did I applaud? This <laughs> He is the list. Apparently, she was similarly blunt on the set of their film, immediately laying out the situation to Johnson when he arrived. Number seven Cardi B meets Robert Pattinson. Post Twilight, Robert Pattinson has been in a wide variety of films, including superhero blockbuster The Batman and claustrophobic psychological thriller The Lighthouse. You hear me, lad? Yes, sir. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. Nonetheless, he still can't shake the role that made him a star. Although he previously derided the film, he seems to have come to terms with its popularity in recent years. I do think there's something in that first movie. You can see that people are like we're taking it seriously, and it kind of has this has a it has a passion to it. This is good news for Cardi B, whose apparent crush on the actor likely stemmed from his early role as a sparkling vampire. Come on, look at my friend. She posted a video of their chance meeting to Twitter, captioning it, Look who I met the other day. I felt like a teen. Number 6. Kiki Palmer meets Michael Ely Did you know Kiki Palmer once had her own talk show? Just Kiki only lasted a single season on BET, which is a shame when you consider its iconic first episode. If you follow me on Twitter, 
You definitely know my number, 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 number one crush is my young... Yo, yo! In it, Palmer gushed about her celebrity crush on Michael Ely, only to have him walk up behind her to surprise her with flowers. The genuine shock on Palmer's face makes it clear that this meet and greet wasn't pre-planned. Ely and Palmer actually originally met on the set of Barbershop 2 when Palmer was only nine years old. He'll never ever see me the way that I want him to see me, y'all. <laughs> Considering their conversations probably went a lot differently back then, we're glad she got this unique opportunity to reconnect, and equally as glad that it was all caught on camera. Same. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Number five, Emilia Clark meets Matt LeBlanc. Who knew that Joey would be the guy to make the mother of dragons fold? Emilia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> when Graham Norton asked the fan favorite Game of Thrones actress whether or not she got a chance to speak with Matt LeBlanc backstage, she became instantly coy before admitting she thought LeBlanc was quote wicked. Put on the spot by her affections, LeBlanc had to admit he was one of the few people in the world not keeping up with Game of Thrones. Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and I tried to watch it this that's okay, season, that's okay. and I don't know that's what's okay. going on. <laughs> Emilia Clark was quick to forgive him, but she did have one small request for the actor. She wanted the former Friends star to ask how she was doing. Naturally, he obliged. How are you doing? <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> I caught that from back yeah, there. It was. <laughs> yes. Number four, Kelly Clarkson meets Josh Brolin. As an American Idol winner turned talk show host, Kelly Clarkson can boast a long list of stars she's personally become acquainted with. Hey, I'm such uh, a fan of you. Thank you. I'm, you are I'm a in, fan of yours. No, Her young children are most impressed with the fact that she's met Ariana Grande, but it's clear from this interaction that Josh Brolin was a more exciting guest for her. Clarkson couldn't help but gush over the actor's early role in The Goonies, noting how surprised she was by the film's more mature content while re-watching. So who's those... your favorite character? I'm sorry to interrupt, but who's your favorite character? This is gonna Not get that awkward, you have to but say. we were gonna get married, so that's that's why. So. <laughs> when Brolin interrupts to ask who her favorite character was, she matter-of-factly answers about her wedding intentions. Upon hearing this, he invites her over to the couch for a hug we're sure she'll never forget. No! Number three, Sebastian Stan meets Sharon Stone. While many would likely lose their cool if they came face to face with their celebrity crush, Sebastian Stan isn't the average guy. Well, we're we witnessing the start of something here. We, uh, we should probably talk about this later, but we've, we've been wanting to meet each other for a really long time. In 2016, the Marvel star spent more time on the Late Late Show couch flirting with actress Sharon Stone than he did promoting his new movie. Thankfully, she seemed receptive to his complimentary banter, laughing and playing along with some equally flirtatious lines. How would one ask Sharon Stone on a date in Romania? Kind of like this, Jeff Fudge. Would you bite me in the neck? Oh my God. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> She finally broke his smooth demeanor when she admitted that he was, quote, pretty cute. Show host James Corden seemed delighted by the entire exchange. If Stone was really worried that no one would want to date her prior to this interview, she couldn't have found a better confidence booster than Stan. You you've good. had, I mean, you must have had some great headshots. Come on, back and, I mean, like, no? Number two, Simone Biles meets Zac Efron. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Simone Biles was just nine years old when High School Musical aired on Disney Channel for the first time, but her love for the franchise and its star endures into her adult life. Simone, can I just ask you one question? <laughs> What's going on right now? I'm shaking, I'm so <laughs> While doing press for the 2016 Rio Olympics, the young gymnast was gifted a Zac Efron leotard by Ellen DeGeneres and encouraged by Today host Hoda Kotb to make an on-air request for Efron's presence at the team finals. When I found out you guys were fans, I was like, what am I doing sitting here on the couch? I have to come see you, like, come hang out and support you guys. Not wanting to disappoint the multi-gold winning Final Five, Zac Efron made his way to Rio for a surprise visit. Is that the final five? The team was overjoyed, Biles in particular. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 
Yahya Abdul-Mateen II meets Julia Roberts. 27 years after Hook, Yahya came face to face with his Tinkerbell. You were my first, uh, my first human, human crush. <laughs> yeah. I was five years old, uh, and you were uh, Tinkerbell. You were, you were my Tinkerbell. Jack Harlow meets Saweetie, turning on the charm at the BET Awards. You don't like getting caught off guard? Why are you shaking? Am I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nobody's shaking. Room. Nobody's oh, shaking. Jennifer Coolidge meets Jeremy Allen White. A hairdresser's Coolidge candle is the perfect setup for the actress's crush confession. I rigged that because I've had a crush on you, <laughs> and um, I asked Ali. I sent that candle. You to just her. sent it in there so I could be staring at it for the setup. Good. Taryn Edgerton meets Rachel Vice. Variety had the receipts ready for this Actors on Actors pairing. Growing up, who was your first ever celebrity crush? Rachel Weisz. Oh. I, I cannot believe you're doing that to oh, me. Oh no, we don't need to. Thanks for that, guys. So here we are. Here we are now sitting in the, um, in the awkwardness. <laughs> well, I'm very honored. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Haley Lou Richardson meets Nick Jonas as a young girl, Haley Lou Richardson was the quintessential Jonas Brothers fangirl. She made a custom tie for Nick and waited hours in line to meet the band. You have been a lifelong <laughs> fan. And I don't know how old you are in this photo, but look at you here with the Jonas Brothers. Whoa. When was this and how deep does this love go? She had no way of knowing that she'd one day grow up to live out every fan's dream. During an episode of The Late Late Show, James Corden facilitated a modern meeting between Richardson and her longtime crush, Nick Jonas. Is this a recorded, pre-recorded video? Not, I promise you, I literally just finished. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just finish? Uh, I just finished White Lotus last night. She composed herself long enough to sincerely thank him for the impact he had on her childhood and express her happiness for his continued success. And I'm so happy for your lives and um, your creative endeavors and your families. And I love you. <laughs> Following this short conversation, Richardson was asked to be a part of the Jonas Brothers music video for Wings and even hired as today's official Jonas Brothers correspondent. Did we miss any celebrity meet cutes? Let us know in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.